search for you. Nine snacks. Nine I snacks. I feel great. Wow. <laughs> that is good. Cool. All right, we're at the Pinkham Notch Visitor Center uh, just outside of Jackson, New Hampshire. And we're going to take the Tuckerman Ravine Trail. We're going to run that. And we're going to go way up there. And that's Tuckerman's Ravine on the top of Mount Washington. It's kind of over here. And we start off this way. So let's get to it. having a little cool down in the shade taking our cool offs when we get a chance because back at our place just over the pass it's 20 degrees colder in full winter and here it is like beautiful spring yeah, I'm in like one layer right now that so, hasn't happened all winter we're actually just starting to break a sweat running up this just started I started at the parking lot <laughs> and I'm still, we're both kind of still nursing a little bit of an injury, so it's a hell of a run to the bottom of the bowl for the effort, so. We're, we're the 1% today. The 1% not with skis or snowboard. Yeah, yeah, we're just on foot. So we can't wait to show you this view. Home of the world's worst weather. Uh, right in this little state of New Hampshire. We're gonna go up to the lake shelter, Hermit Lake shelter, and figure just give you a quick little video on what to expect when you Come up here because it's a pretty popular hike for an amazing view or run. All right, you want to get running? the snow huh I can tell yeah. oh, God, you're so cute. you are cute <laughs> hey bud <laughs> hi hi <laughs> so I had done a week-long hike in the this part of the White Mountains when I was a kid with my father and my brother and we got stuck in one of my Washington's like legendary storms where it's in the middle of august and all of a sudden it drops to a snow temp whiteout conditions hypo, you know on the edge of hypothermia even with prepared gear going hut to hut and it's a humbling little place when it wants to be this right today is like no indication of its like power power yeah but then nikki's first time ever hiking out here she's from the flatlands of indiana not used to this stuff it takes me on this as my first hike the biggest one here we did like a shoes. we did like a 14 mile loop <laughs> so never did it again it's been almost 10 years to uh to recover from that to get her to recover from that <laughs> so so she's back she's back with a vengeance back, and i'm barely making it but what you'll see today because it's such a beautiful spring you know pretty soft snow you'll see probably hundreds if not thousands of snowboarders and skiers that come here to get the claim of doing tucks. This is really soft. It makes for a little more effort. Ooh, that middle is really soft.
Well, it's not when you go like up. Like every step just like gets more pretty and more pretty and more pretty. I love the trees. Yeah, my favorite part of the mountains is like the little tiny transition zone between tree line and not tree line. at you for dragging me up. Because the view is amazing? Yeah. yeah. Holy crap. Fucking howie. We made it. <laughs> Wait, what? Is this the cabin you want to make it to? Yeah. This is it. Short run for the day. That's doable. I know it is. It's doable just like you, like you told me. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, nobody's doing the bowl right now. I know, you know what? That's playing tricks in my ass. I agree. I was just thinking the same thing. Alright. Bye, Tux. <laughs> <laughs>